Hello my dear friends in our previous video we built a home garden controller using Shelly Uni in this video we will be building something similar but with more features and at a lower cost our previous system was working on 12 volt power supply but this system will work on 3 to 5 volt power supply so we can easily run this system on low voltage battery power so let's check out things we need for this system number 1 vemos d1 mini number 2 vemos d1 mini battery shield number 3 3.7 volt 18650 battery number 4 18650 battery holder number 5 3 to 4 male to male jumper cables number 6 breadboard for our testing number 7 220 ohms resistor number 8 1 led now let's connect things together with vemos d1 mini you receive two types of header pins female stackable header pins and male header pins If you want to keep D1 mini on top of battery shield then use stackable header pins with D1 mini. In battery shield you have 2.5 mm JCT connector. But I have directly shouldered battery wires to connector pins. You can use a coinciding connector to connect shield to battery holder. I have flash test motor to Vemos D1 mini. I have made a separate video on flashing test motor to Vemos D1 mini. You can find link in video description. We will be using test motor deep sleep feature. Again, I have a separate video which covers deep sleep feature in details. You can find that link also in video description. Now let's connect soil moisture sensor to Vemos. We need to connect sensor VCC to Vemos 3.3 volt GND to GND and sensor AO to Vemos A0 let's power on Vemos connecting 18650 battery now we need to go to MQTT configuration and enter MQTT server details After successfully establishing MQTT connectivity with server we can write a rule to send moisture data to server on some time interval this rule will be executed every time vemos wakes up we will also use an app to receive data and notify us when there is a need of watering the plant name of the app is MQTT alert You can find Play Store link in video description. Now let's see things in action. In MQTT Alert app, we need to enter MQTT Broker Access Configuration and MQTT Alert Configuration. In MQTT Alert Configuration, we just have to put a condition, and when that condition is met, we will receive a push notification. Next, connect the app to server by tapping anchor sign. For testing, I have put condition that when soil moisture is more than 1, then there should be a notification. Now, whenever our Vemos wakes up, it will check for moisture in soil and that data will be sent to MQTT server. Server will send moisture data to app app will evaluate the data and condition and based on condition we will receive a push notification this is our final setup i hope you found the video informative for all automation products do check out see also be.com thank you for watching the video subscribe our channel for more automation videos